Hello YouTube, this is Jamaica5288 and today we're gonna make codfish and I got some okra. We got a couple other vegetables but that's what we're gonna make this morning with some boiled dumplings. Trust me, you'll like it. I love it. I remember when they used to sell codfish, just it would be thrown in the front of the store and now they got it in the freezer department. It was not frozen when I was a kid. It'd be in the front of the Chinaman's, hate to say that, front of the Chinaman's store in a big old bin and it would you just be stacked on top of each other. Everybody everybody who's from where I'm from know what I'm talking about. But I digress. Let's get back to the codfish with okra and some boiled dumplings. Just a second. So our list of ingredients are codfish that I've washed off. Okra. This is frozen okra since it's not in season and I had it in the freezer. Thyme. Onion, garlic. Green onion or a scallion. Tomato. Scotch bonnet, other word, otherwise known as habanero pepper. <laughs> and bell pepper. For the dumpling, I have a cup of flour. I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a smidge of salt, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. So let's get this thing started. We're gonna put our fish in a pot of water and we're gonna boil it for about 20 minutes. Turn it on high so it starts boiling. I'll pick, take this pot, put it inside. The next thing we need to get started is our dumplings. So I have my cup of flour and I have a baking powder here, but it's closed. So that means that's a new one. I think I have one that's already open. I sure do. There it is. So here's my baking powder. We use about a half a teaspoon. Put that in there. And just about half of that of gin salt. And then I'm gonna take a spoon, mix that together. some water okay put like a maybe a quarter a quarter of a of a um of a cup of water pour that in let's see how that does so we want our dumpling I need to do it so you can see, huh? We want our dumpling to be the consistency of Play-Doh. Let me wash my hands off. I'm gonna use my hands. So I could tell by mixing it that wasn't enough water. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Let me start working it together. Just a little tip of water. Don't put a lot. You can always add, but you can't take away. Move these out of the way so y'all can see. And the reason why I'm doing the dumpling first is because 
The dumpling's gonna take longer to cook, but I need to let it rest. While I'm just preparing those, while I am um, cutting those up, I'm gonna put this to the side and let it, let it rest for a little while. I'm just picking up the flakes as I go along. I don't think I need any more water. Some of the dough is a little sticky. That's why I like using my hands. I finally got my hands unstained. I don't know how I must have. I don't know. <laughs> I just had to keep washing them and washing them. Finally. Got all that stuff off. <clears throat> all right, we're almost there. You see, I picked up almost all of the flour with this dough. See that? So I don't need any more water. Just trying to clean the bowl with the dough. All right, once you get it where you think you got enough, this should not be a sticky dough. You're going to keep on moving it around till you get a consistency that's equal, that feels equal. There's no hard lumps. Yep. And that's why you need to let it rest because you're working the dough. All right. So I'm gonna put this back in the bowl. Get a plate. Cover it. Put it to the side. All right, wash my hands again. I got dough all over it. Tell you how I got my hands unstained. Had to use a <laughs> a green scrubby. <laughs> That's how I got it done. All right, that all came back to me. I'm not gonna use my cleaver, it's just too big. But I do need another bowl. stuff up and I'll put it all in this bowl all of my vegetables one by one I've already washed the green onions off I told you what I do with green onions I once I buy them I plant them and I just cut the green parts off we had a windstorm the other day so these were the stalks that had bent over so I'm using them put on my undone vegetables here so I have some room to work all right, got my area clean. Get my bowl. All right, so get my favorite knife and chop up my green scallions or my green onions.
onto my bell pepper. Try not to get any seeds. that to the side. I still got seeds. I'm going to try to get them off. I'm going to try to plant these. So We'll see how that works. If it comes up, it comes up. If it don't, it don't. I have nothing to lose. Nothing. No shame in my game. I need to find a little bowl to put these in though. Find a little bowl. Collect my seeds. You know I'm a gardener. If you watch my channel, I garden. So this is a cook slash variety channel where I just try to save money by reusing stuff or not just using like the whole plant. I use part of the plant and plant the rest so I have it for longer. And then I fix stuff on my, my own. I try to. If I can't, then I pay for it. That is my last resort, though. My board is unstable. I think I broke it. Use it anyway. It's just gonna have to clinkety clank until I finish. So I'm not going to get the other board. I'm not going to do it. It is a little annoying, though. It is a little annoying. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. Okay, my bell pepper is almost done. You see, I'm just cutting it into little, little cubes like that. See that? I'm not trying to get it ex extremely small. I'm just trying to get it chopped. In school, we call this a rough chop. like ringing a bell every time I dump something in there. Time. Gotta wash this time off. It's from the supermarket. I always, um, when I go to the supermarket and buy time, I always go reach all the way to the back and look at the dates. I don't want to repay for time until I can start growing enough for this house. I think that's enough right there few sprigs of thyme. See that? That's enough for me. Wash it off. And stick it in the bucket. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our tomatoes. Now, these tomatoes were going bad in the refrigerator. Got to use them up. That is no good. Put that in there with you. Put it in there with the bell pepper. <laughs> Cut this. Off and chop, rough chop my tomato. Uh oh, look at that. I made a mess. Now I'm mad at myself. That's fish and it's gonna smell. Gotta clean the stove again. All right, so I got my tomato. Done. I'll wipe that off in a second. I'll wipe it off in a second. It was so silent. It was like a silent killer. It just slowly bubbled off behind my back. Can't trust it. Can't even turn your back. I'm going to throw this part out. Which part is this? I can't tell if it's the head or the tail. I'm just going to take that out. And I want that. I want that. All right. Tomatoes in the bucket. On to the okra. Now I have to get some sugar at 
the same time. Why work harder? There we go. And this dish is called saltfish or codfish and okra. So you have to put some a decent amount of okra in there. We're not gonna cook it that long because okra has a tendency to melt away, just kind of like mushrooms. If you cook them too long, they disappear. The tomato, by the way, cuts the sliminess of the okra. Fun fact. If you don't like slimy okra, I use tomatoes with it and that should take care of the problem. I don't mind, I like okra. I grow okra. That is the one of the one things that grows well in Texas, habanero. Cut up my habanero. Now this one is gonna be a fine chop. We want this bad boy cut up. Nobody, nobody wants a big pizza habanero in there. Unless you're just gonna pick it out. Now, if you don't like hot food, I suggest that you just cut it in half to flavor it, and then you could just pick it out. I believe that habaneros brings out all of the flavors. So, I'm chopping it up real, real fine. Collect it on my knife, put it in, in the bucket with its friends. All right, on to the garlic. I'm gonna use, oh man, these are small pieces of garlic, man. This is a sad piece of garlic. You see how much I could get off of here. All right. I, man, and they keep getting smaller. This is irritating. Look at that. Look how little that is. Look, I'm gonna put it on my pinky so you can get an idea of how small this is. And this is one of the outer ones. So you gotta be careful where you buy it from. Sometimes in our supermarket, it's hit or miss. So what looks like four, one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic is actually maybe not even two. That's, that's good enough. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. It's not even two. It doesn't equal two regular size of garlic. Uh-oh. They say that if you use the small garlic to, to plant, that's, what, that's how this happens. That's just something I heard on the internet. I don't, I've never, I've never experienced it in, in growing garlic because I always plant the big ones. But you plant little ones, you get little heads of garlic with a million little cloves in it, like this one. There it is. And it gets small. It gets smaller. Look at that. Uh, let me stop complaining. I got garlic. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't complain about it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here we go. And if this is your first time watching, the reason why I smash the garlic is because the shell just comes right off when you smash it. Comes right off. Way easier. Yesterday, I decided to treat myself and I went to Popeye's and I got surf and turf, right? which is chicken McNuggets and shrimp. That was the worst chicken and shrimp I've ever had. I'll never go there again. I'm so used to cooking my own food that I guess um, I can tell when it's been around for a while. I don't know. It didn't taste right. Tasted like it wasn't real food. <laughs> didn't have any real flavor to it. And because I can get fresh shrimp, from the coast, it, the coast is about five hours away from here. So you can get fresh shrimp pretty easily here in Texas because we got we got water. We got water about five five hours away from here, and they try to get it in as fresh as possible. But that shrimp 
had no flavor. Tastes like straight panko breadcrumbs. And the chicken, I should have just gave it to the dogs. The chicken didn't taste like chicken. So, I guess I, my flavor palate has gotten more delicate. And I am not accustomed to eating that fast food anymore. I don't know if it's them or me. I think it might be me or them or maybe it's both of us. Maybe they've changed the way they do things and the product that they the products that they sell. All right, on to the next. On to the onion. Then I gotta clean the stove. I'll do that off camera. Y'all don't need to see me scrubbing that stuff off. Fish should be done. It's in hot water. Fish doesn't take very long to, to cook. Plus I'm gonna recook it anyway. It's going in with the vegetables, so it's fine. As long as I can flake it, I am happy. That's all you wanna do is be able to flake it. The less you cook it, the better it's gonna taste. Besides, so all you do, all I'm doing is trying to get some of that salt out of it. I think that pretty much did it. Most of the salt is on on my stove, <laughs> burnt on there. <laughs> all right, cut my onions up. I have my vegetable medley right here. Get these onions away from me so I don't start crying on camera. I'm gonna clean my stove and I'll- All right, I cleaned the stove. I got my medley here. I started a pot of water and I put some salt in the water. Let me take you over here. I put some salt in a pot and I'm gonna boil my dumplings in there. I don't have any green banana, but if you have green banana or green plantain, you can put that in there also. Taro, you can put taro in there too. Taro would be good with this dish. Mm, or get some yam, okay? But all I'm gonna do today is dumpling, boiled dumpling. So my fish is cooked and I'm going to use a little bowl. Got my vegetable medley here, I'll put that to the side and I'm gonna flake my fish and check for bones while I'm flaking. They say that they debone this fish, but I have found bones in the fish. And, the, and when I was at home with my family, um, we always check for bones. I never stop a process. Oh, y'all can't see me. I never stop a process um, or something that my grandmother taught me when I was a kid. I never change that. There's a reason why she did everything and I'm finding out now why. There are technical reasons why. She would just say, do what I tell you to do. <laughs> so, I'm fixing the camera while I'm talking to you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Do what she told me to do because apparently... So, I put some water in a pot with some salt and I'm boiling it. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna drop my dumplings in there. They're still sitting there. And man, they're doing good. They get a, they got a, um, the foam, I mean the, what is it? Precipitation is going on top of this. So that's a good thing. So my vegetables are done. They were done in the last frame. And I'm taking my codfish and I'm flaking it up. Just like I was taught. You know why? You see that? That is a bone. Nobody deserves to choke on a fish bone. <laughs> Not even your enemies. <laughs> So I'm gonna get a plate and put these on the side. Get a small 
dish. I don't have any small dishes over there. Let me get one out of here. Get a small dish and put it to the side. Okay. Make sure you get. Make sure you check your codfish. This thing says you know bone free. It's not true. They always miss something. They probably have a machine that does it, but machine is not always right or the person doing it is not you know may have missed a couple and they did you know you're responsible for your own health here goes another bone just to prove my point don't want that in your throat or anyone's throat get that out so i'm going through flake in the fish Kind of like while they when they say you know already clean chitlins. Uh -uh. <laughs> I never had a chitlin until I was in the military, and this guy came in from the from a southern from a so this one's full of bones from a southern um, soul food restaurant. He bought some chitlins and he gave them to me. And Lord, first of all, the smell. I I had smelt apparently chitlins around my neighborhood but we we didn't cook them so that was a waste of his time because i couldn't i couldn't do it i felt like i was gonna die then years later i guess my palate changed they say every 10 years your um your taste buds change about 10 years later i had some with some hot sauce and i started eating them then but i don't make them they're not a part of this our menu here <laughs> it's not my favorite thing but i'll eat them if they're around i don't look i don't seek chitlins let me put it that way or collard greens i don't like collard greens either we 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 had to eat collard greens when i was a kid and man they'd have to beat us up to eat them they're too sharp too sharp for me okay that's good uh, that's good. Second set of eyes on anything, any of your work, anything you do, if you get a second set of eyes on it, it's always going to get better. Always. You always miss things. That's good. I feel the bones in this bad boy. And I'm not making them small. I'm just breaking them down just enough so I can check to make sure the bones are gone. I'm not necessarily trying to get them really small. Just making sure. I don't want it to be mash up, mash up. I just want it cleared. And I could, I mean, I can feel the bones in this one. There's one. Move this out of the way before I put bones in there accidentally. All right. And your hands will let you know when you run your finger on it. That's why gloves, you know, gloves, gloves are not good with some foods. And this is one of them. You just run your finger on it, the bone will poke you. If you run your finger along the codfish, it'll let you know it's there. They'll attack you like those fire ants. <laughs> well, not as bad as a fire ant. This one is, yeah, I feel bones in this one already. Not as bad as a fire ant, but it'll let you know it's here. So let me see if this piece, yeah, there's one. Hiding on me, try to get away. Stuck on my finger. And maybe I need to get a paper towel. Okay. Got it off my hand. It didn't want to go. Not without a fight. Break that off. Feel it. Don't feel anything. That's good. Can you feel it? Can you feel the bone, the fish bone inside of me? <laughs> Making this stuff up. All right, this one seems like it's okay. 
just make sure I think this is the one yeah it's the one that has all the bones in it take that off because I know that got bones in it all right not gonna waste it I'm just gonna be careful with that piece and its sister seems like yeah she she don't want no smoke this one this one's the one that's trying to give me the business A bone. Get off my finger. <sighs> Make sure there's no bones in here. I don't care if I have to mash it. I'm not throwing it away, but I'm I'm gonna make sure I don't get no bones. All right, let me wash my hand off. Are you boiling yet? No. All right, let me get this pot. Wash it out. Hold the dishwasher around here. Somebody did not do a good job. get the water out of this first and then I'm gonna put some coconut oil in the pot and fry these uh, vegetables up not a lot of coconut not a lot of oil just enough to coat the bottom so that the vegetables don't stick saute it and then I'll put my codfish in quick dish I just wish that I could get this um, water to boil I'm gonna bring you all back I'm not gonna start it until I get the water out of the pan and I get the water to boil. That should be in a few minutes, but it'll be a few seconds for you all. See you in a sec. My water is boiling. Time for me to make the dumplings. So, I'm gonna break off a piece, roll it in my hand. I'm doing cartwheel dumpling. That's what this is called. Okay. And the reason why I pinched the middle is because the middle is the one part that will not be cooked on these dumplings. So making sure, put it in the pot, it's gonna drop to the bottom and then it's gonna float to the top. Do three of them. Make them sizable. There we go. Roll it, pinch it down. Put it in the water. Roll it. Pinch it down. Some people take their hand and do like this. Me, I just do like this. I don't have that many to make. Put them in the water. The dumplings take a little bit longer to cook than the food, the rest of the stuff, the codfish and the okra. So I'm gonna let this boil for about, I say 10 minutes before I start the codfish and okra. So I'll see you in about 10. So my dumplings have been going for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna start my um, stir fry, or not stir fry, but my okra and um, codfish. Use some coconut oil, just using a little bit. That's maybe a tablespoon. Put it in my pan, turn the heat on, and put it in my pan so that the oil melts. Get this out of the way, I don't need this anymore. Man, I'm running out, I gotta go back to Costco. Wonder how much it costs now. <laughs> I haven't went back to Costco for
for a long time. I've had that thing for a long time. So I got my oil heated up. Take my vegetables. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise. Take my vegetables and I'm gonna put them in there. Stripping my time. Just a preference. I want to take some of the time in there. I can leave this sprig in there too. I don't have to take that out. And what we're doing is we're cooking it down. Turn my oil, my flame down a little bit. Get a little bit of black pepper. About a teaspoon. Put it in there. We don't need no salt. The, the, the codfish has salt in it. No salt. Fish. Put it in. I'm gonna cover it for about five minutes to make it steam. And I'll be back. All right, the timer went off, I pulled the lid off. First thing I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna turn down my flame, I'll turn it off, I'm gonna turn off the flame for both. Take my time out, throw it in the trash. Oh, <laughs> the habanero get me. I'm gonna do a taste test. See if it's done. Taste it for salt. I didn't get enough. This is the test right here. Let me get a spoon because I'm burning up my hand. Burning up my hand doing it the old school way. Alright. 
perfect. Don't need no salt. I'm gonna plate it. Right in front of you. Let me get a slot of time for my thing. I don't want a bunch of water. Get a dumpling out. Gotta leave some, huh? For somebody else. Don't be greedy. But for plating purposes, I'm gonna pull at least two dumplings out. And there you have it. Okra with codfish and dumpling. I did flour dumpling. Some people use cornmeal dumpling, but this is what I did today. So, let me pull you down to my level. <laughs> I short. I am short. So, this is Jamerica5288. Please like and subscribe. This is a healthy breakfast. This is a West Indian dish. Um, you don't necessarily have to have it for breakfast, but I am. And I'm leaving half for my partner. Make sure I turn everything off so you don't get a burnt up pot when he show up. So, see the steam. It didn't take long. Didn't take me long at all. So, you all take care. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.